My name is Tommy Chan. I am a second year information technology major and my country of origin is Panama, but my parents are Chinese. Well, for me, mental health is the physical and emotional well-being that lets you perform at a satisfactory level. Um, so to give you a background of my story, I was in med school before and I ended up there for a semester and after I dropped out, I was having a really hard time. I was feeling lonely, depressed, I had eating disorders, I couldn't sleep because of the fact that after high school I wanted to do something huge, like something meaningful in my life. It was really frustrating and exhausting, the fact that I couldn't like do anything about it. And when I came here, I was really disappointed because the campus was very dull. When I saw people, they were not really happy that they were at York University, which made me feel very sad because I thought it was going to be different. I realized that I didn't really want to be here, especially because I was also homesick. Um, for me, it was more of spending time with friends, but I guess for some people it's really hard to make friends, especially if you're an introvert. But there are so many activities around the campus, especially uh, sports. For me, sports is one of the way, like one of the main ways that I relieve my stress or any emotion that I'm feeling. So. I would say that people should go more, should do more activities on campus, play sports, do whatever they're told to, and try to have like a neutral attitude towards everything they're doing, even like meeting new people. I started talking to different people. I made a really a lot of good friends. One of the problems is that I found about the mental health service after a semester of being here at York University. So when I went there, I was expecting of kind of like a psychologist therapy, but instead I found they were social workers and they assigned me to an intern, which she didn't know really like much about the topic. And when I talked to her after like a couple of sessions, I realized that she didn't know what she was talking about. So I kind of, uh, told her that I didn't want to go anymore and it wasn't really helpful at all like I I used to go to the sessions we will talk about it I would like tell her my problems but she will tell me that she cannot advise me or diagnose me with anything because she can't maybe because she's an intern or or that's how it is I think their current support systems are really good but they're only offered to people if they actually look for it. Let's say when I came here to university, I found out about the peer mentor system and the mental health support system after a semester that I got here. I wish when I came here, we had a kind of like a meetup system where you can talk to people of your same culture so that it's more easier for you to like connect with them. Because I feel that when you talk to someone of your same maybe culture, ethnicity, you kind of like make a connection with them and it's much easier to feel like home. So I'll be honest with you, uh, when I was back in Panama, mental health, it wasn't a topic that people would usually like, touch about. So when I came here, I was really ignorant and very judgmental about um, people that had these problems so like let's say I wouldn't talk to someone that was suffering from depression and after been living here for almost two years I've learned a lot about mental health and that's due to all the resources that people have here and how people are really open-minded about the topic so it's easier for me to actually talk to them instead of having that barrier between us. My only and one advice to every international student is just to get out there, keep your mind busy, do things that you have never done before, try to smile more often, explore the city. There's so many things to do in Toronto. 
and just enjoy life and your time here at school.